Welcome to Mixture of Knowledge. Let's look at the Samsung Storm Wash 42 decibel dishwasher in stainless steel. This video is part two covering the user guide from the operations section, which includes the control panel, cycle overview, simple steps to start your dishwasher, settings and special features, to the maintenance section, which covers cleaning, long-term care, cleaning the drain pump, and storing your dishwasher. Check out my other video, part one, which covered before you start and using your dishwasher sections. So this item is model number DW80R70060US, purchased from Best Buy in February 2022. Page 26, touchpad responsiveness. To prevent the touch-enabled controls from losing responsiveness, follow these instructions. Touch the center of each button with one finger. Do not touch more than one button at a time except as directed. Clean the surface of the control panel regularly with a soft, damp cloth. Page 27, Operations. Warning. To reduce the risk of fire, electric shock, or injury to persons, read the important safety instructions before operating this appliance. Let's look at the control panel. And this is specifically for the DW80R706 series. The power control. When you press the power button, the cycle on light for the most recently started cycle turns on. When the selected cycle is complete, the dishwasher powers off automatically. The cycle selector section. Select the appropriate wash cycle depending on the soil level of your dishes. After you select a cycle, the cycle on light for that cycle lights. If you want to change the cycle once it has started, press the power button. Then turn on the dishwasher again and select a new cycle. If you select the lower rack button, only the lower rack nozzle is activated to reduce both the cycle time and power consumption. Use this cycle to wash a small load of dishes or glasses in the lower rack. To wash heavily soiled items, select the storm wash option and the storm wash option. Use this option when you want to wash pots and pans durable serving bowls and other large very dirty hard to clean dishes to use storm wash place the dishes face down in the marked storm wash area in the lower basket in the high temp setting raises the main wash temperature to improve cleaning for loads containing tough baked on food and the sanitize feature with the sanitize option selected the water temperature is increased to 163 degrees fahrenheit for high temperature sanitization in the final rinse cycle. If you select the sanitize option, the sanitize lamp blinks when the water temperature reaches the sanitary temperature over 155 degrees Fahrenheit and then remains illuminated until the sanitize option ends. When you open the door or press the power button, the sanitize lamp turns off. Note, the normal cycle with the sanitize option selected is NSF certified and operates in accordance with NSF ANSI standard 184 for residential dishwashers. Certified residential dishwashers are not intended for licensed food establishments. Your dishwasher is NSF certified. Control lock allows you to lock the buttons on the control panel so children cannot accidentally start the dishwasher by pressing the buttons on the panel. To lock and unlock the buttons on the control panel, Hold the sanitize button down for 3 seconds when the power is on. Display. Displays information about the current cycle including the cycle time, remaining time, delay start settings, and other cycle specific information. If a problem occurs during operation, an information code appears with a warning sound. Refer to the information codes on page 47. Delay start. Delay a cycle for up to 24 hours in 1 hour increments. To increase the delay start time, Press or hold the delay start button. The hour displayed indicates the time at which the wash will start. After setting the delay time, press the start button and then close the door to start the cycle. To change the delay time after the dishwasher has started, first turn the dishwasher off and turn it back on, then select a new cycle and change the delay time settings. Start. To start a cycle, press the start button before closing the door. Cancel and drain. To cancel a currently running cycle and drain the dishwasher, press and hold the start button for 3 seconds. Once the dishwasher is reset, select the cycle and option and then press start to restart the dishwasher. Indicators Control lock indicator 
lights up if control lock is activated and blinks if any button except for the power button is pressed. Rinse refill indicator. Lights up if the dishwasher runs out of rinse aid. Progress displays. You have the DW80R7060 series on the left, which is three dots, and the 7061 series on the right, which is three dots, and then a progress bar underneath it. Of the three dots, which are off when the dishwasher is not in use, and each of the three lights can be on or off depending on which cycle when it's in use, you have the following information. Wash. When the dishwasher is in a wash portion of a cycle, the first light is illuminated. Rinse. When the dishwasher is in a rinse portion of a cycle, the second light is illuminated. Dry. When the dishwasher is in a drying portion of a cycle, the third light is illuminated. End. After the dishwasher has completed all portions of a cycle, all lights are turned off. Cycle Overview Auto This cycle detects the level of soil and automatically initiates the optimal cycle after a few minutes of operation. Normal Use this cycle for normally soiled dishes. The energy usage label is based on this cycle. Heavy Use this cycle for heavily soiled dishes. Delicate Use this cycle for soiled, fragile items such as fine glassware and crystal glass, wine glass. Do not use this cycle for other glassware because clouding or etching may occur. Express 60. Use this cycle when you need to wash dishes quickly. It takes about one hour. And rinse only. Use for rinsing dishes, glasses, and silverware that will not be washed right away. Do not use detergent. Page 31. Simple steps to start your dishwasher. 1. Open the door and then load the dishwasher. Make sure dishes are empty. 2. If applicable, put the dishes in the lower rack. If adding the storm wash option, put the dishes in the left side of the lower rack. 3. Add detergent to the detergent dispenser. For better results, add rinse aid to the rinse aid compartment. Note: You should use rinse aid for better drying performance. You can further improve drying performance by also selecting the sanitize option. Press power and then select a cycle with necessary options, lower rack, storm wash, high temp wash, Sanitize. If you change the cycle after selecting an option, the original cycle is reset. Press start and then close the door within 3 seconds. The dishwasher starts the cycle after draining for a few seconds. Note: To change the cycle after it has started, press and hold the start for 3 seconds to cancel the cycle, then select a new cycle. To resume after you have opened the door to stop the dishwasher while operating, simply press start first and then close the door. Page 32, Settings. You can change the sound, Auto release dry alert, rinse aid amount, and auto release dry settings to your preference. To change the settings, press the sanitize and delay start buttons simultaneously for 3 seconds. Press sanitize to navigate through the sub menus and then press delay start to confirm your changes. And it goes in this order sound, auto release dry alert, rinse aid amount, auto release dry with those codes. Sound, press sanitize until U1 or U0 is displayed. To mute the dishwasher, select U0 and then press Delay Start. To unmute, select U1 and then press Delay Start. Auto Release Dry Alert. You can enable or disable the setting that alerts you when the door opens to start the auto release dry function. Press Sanitize until J1 or J0 is displayed. To disable the auto release alert, select J0 and then press Delay Start. To enable, select J1 and then press Delay Start. Rinse Aid Amount. Press Sanitize until F1, F6 is displayed. The higher the number, the more rinse aid the dishwasher uses. To improve drying performance, select a higher number. If your dishes appear discolored after a wash, switch to a lower number. The factory default level is F4. Page 33, Auto Release Dry. The auto release dry function, which is designed to improve drying performance, automatically opens the dishwasher's door 5 to 15 minutes before a cycle ends. You can enable or disable auto release dry in two ways, using the setting mode or using the toggle keys. Both methods are described starting below. Press sanitize until A1 or A0 is displayed. Then press delay start to enable A1 or disable A0 auto release dry. Using the toggle keys, press the lower plus high temp wash button for three seconds to enable A1 or disable A0 auto release dry. Note, once the door opens on the auto release dry mode, the door cannot be closed manually for the next two minutes. Disabling A0 auto release dry can affect the drying results. Enable A1 auto release dry for better drying result. After a cycle is complete, 
the door automatically opens to let steam out. This is normal and not a product malfunction. Page 34, Special Features, Delay Start. You can delay the cycle starting time up to 24 hours in 1 hour increments. To increase the delay time, press Delay Start. The hour displayed indicates the time at which the cycle will start. 1. Open the door and then load the dishwasher. 2. Press Delay Start and then press or hold Delay Start to change the time in 1 hour increments. 3. Close the door and then press Start. Note. To change the delay time once the dishwasher has started, press power and then restart the dishwasher. Touch controls. Touch controls allow you to operate the dishwasher easily. They are convenient to operate requiring only a soft touch, have a simple and stylish design, are easy to clean. Note: If you have children or you want to clean the control interface, we recommend activating the control lock feature to lock the control buttons. Control lock. To prevent children from playing with the dishwasher, Control Lock locks all button controls except for power. To activate Control Lock, press and hold Sanitize for 3 seconds. With Control Lock activated, you cannot select a cycle or option, or start an operation. To deactivate Control Lock, press and hold Sanitize again for 3 seconds. Control Lock remains active after the dishwasher restarts. To cancel Control Lock, you must deactivate it first. Page 35. Maintenance. Cleaning. Keep the dishwasher clean to improve performance, reduce unnecessary repairs, and lengthen its life cycle. Exterior. Clean spills on the surface of the dishwasher as they occur. Use a soft, damp cloth on the control panel to gently wipe away spills and dust. Caution. Do not use benzene, wax, thinner, chlorine bleach, alcohol, or other chemical substances. These materials may discolor the surface of the dishwasher and cause stains. The dishwasher has electric parts inside. Do not sprinkle water directly onto the dishwasher. Protect electrical components from coming into contact with water. For a stainless steel door panel, clean using a stainless steel cleaner for home appliances and a clean soft cloth. Interior. Clean the interior of the dishwasher on a regular basis to remove any dirt or food particles. Wipe inside the dishwasher and inside the door with a wet dishcloth to maintain optimum cleanliness. We recommend running the self-clean cycle periodically with the dishwasher empty. To keep the cutlery pad clean, turn it over after each use. To remove white spots and odors from the cutlery pad, run the self-clean cycle with the dishwasher empty and no detergent until the cutlery pad flushes. Then stop the cycle and put an 8 ounce cup of white vinegar into the lower basket. Close the door and then resume the cycle. Use a damp cloth to remove lime scale or grease deposits inside the dishwasher. Alternatively, apply some detergent and then run an empty cycle using the highest rinse temperature. Caution! Do not remove the front seal, the long rubber seal enclosing the opening of the dishwasher. The seal keeps the inner side of the dishwasher sealed. Page 36. Nozzles. To prevent the nozzles from being clogged, or if the nozzles are clogged, remove and clean each nozzle. Use caution when removing the nozzles as they may break. Upper nozzle. 1. Open the door and then pull out the upper rack to reveal the upper nozzle. 2. Turn counterclockwise to remove the nozzle cap and then remove the nozzle. 3. Unclog and clean the nozzle. 4. Reinsert the nozzle and then tighten the cap clockwise. 5. Rotate the nozzle by hand to make sure the nozzle is engaged correctly. Top nozzle. 1. Check whether the nozzle holes are clogged by food particles. 2. If cleaning is needed, remove the top nozzle. 3. To remove the top nozzle, pull out the upper rack first, unfasten the nozzle cap by turning it counterclockwise and then remove the nozzle. 4. Clean the nozzle, reinsert it, and then fasten the nozzle cap to the nozzle by turning the cap clockwise. 5. Check whether the nozzle is engaged correctly by rotating it by hand. Page 37. Lower nozzle. 1. Open the door and then pull out the lower rack to reveal the lower nozzle. 2. Pull up the nozzle to remove it. 3. Clean the nozzle. 4. Reinsert the nozzle and then push the nozzle down until you hear a click. 5. Rotate the nozzle by hand to make sure the nozzle is engaged correctly. Filter. We recommend cleaning the filter every month. 1. Open the door and then remove the lower rack. 2. Turn the filter handle counterclockwise to unlock the filter cover. Page 38. Step 3. Remove the filter cover and then the cylindrical micro filter underneath. 4. Remove any dirt and impurities from the micro filter and the filter cover. 5. Rinse them with running water and then dry well. Page 39. 6. Reinsert the filter and then the filter cover. 7. Turn the filter handle clockwise to lock. Caution! 
Make sure the filter cover is closed properly. A loose cover can reduce the filtering performance. Long-term care. If you will not use the dishwasher for an extended period of time, first drain the unit completely and then disconnect the water hose. Shut off the water supply valve and the circuit breaker. Water remaining in the hoses or in the internal components can damage the dishwasher. Page 40. Cleaning the drain pump. If the dishwasher fails to drain because the drain pump is clogged with foreign matter or there is an abnormal noise coming from the drain pump, you must unclog and clean the drain pump as instructed below. 1. Remove the lower rack. 2. See the filter section to remove the cylindrical microfiber. 3. Remove any moisture from the filter using a sponge. 4. Remove the drain pump cover by pushing its handle in the direction of the arrow 1 and then pulling up. 2. 5. Check the impeller to see if it's in good condition, then remove any foreign matter from the pump. 6. Reinsert the drain pump cover and then press down until you hear a click. Storing your dishwasher. If you need to store your dishwasher for an extended period of time, first drain and disconnect. If you leave water in the hoses and internal components, you can damage the dishwasher. After draining and disconnecting the dishwasher, be sure to turn off the water supply valve and circuit breaker. Please hit like and subscribe, that helps a lot, and thank you for watching.